nurse. I'm cauterizing this last bleeder and... Doctor, the patient's blood pressure is dropping. Doctor, the patient is starting to crash. What? Come on, not now. I was almost out. Janice, grab the crash cart. Already on it. Make room. We have a code blue and OR6. Move. Move. That was not expected. Okay. Charge to 300. Charging to 300. Everyone clear? Clear. Let's go again. Charge to 300. Charging to 300. Everyone clear? When life hangs in the balance, instincts and training take over. Anticipation drives action with innovations that help provide the best possible care for our patients. This is why AORN and its members must continue its commitment to safety and optimal outcomes for our patients undergoing operative and other invasive procedures. But our involvement isn't just in the OR. Some of our best work, most important work, happens in pre-op where our patients need it most. Mrs. Tate, I'm the nurse anesthetist who will be taking care of you. Do you know what you're here for today? Wait, don't you know? I do. I simply asked to hear it in your own words. I'm having my right knee fixed? That's correct. Uh, and I see the doctor has marked the correct knee, so we... Oh, please. Can we not show the world my toenails again? They're a mess. Trust me, Mrs. Tate. You're fine. Really? Oh, I'm so nervous. I understand, Mrs. Tate. But you're in good hands with Dr. Abbott. Please, call me Patty. Okay, Patty, I'm Doug. Let me go wash my hands again, and I'll be back shortly with something that's going to help you relax a bit. But you're coming back, right? In just a few moments. Perfect. I like you, Doug. Well, that makes two of us. We are their advocate through all phases of surgery. We become their confidant in pre-op and their champion while they are asleep. And sometimes we are their only friend. Being a perioperative nurse is rarely easy, but then nothing worthwhile ever is. Blood pressure? 110 over 65. All right, just a few more and this colon is resected, people. Get the next patient ready to roll. This is our last patient today. Let's get a dressing on this and we can all go home. Doctor, the count is off. I am showing that we are still missing a sponge. Count again. Yes, doctor, I did that five times. I'm very sure we are down one sponge. Do you need some help? Be my guest. However... None of us should feel comfortable leaving this room until that sponge is accounted for. What's your name? You know my name. We've been working together for 18 years. Let's find the sponge. With every stitch, each drop of blood, and everything we say and do to keep patients safe, evidence-based standards and recommended practices are critical to the work of perioperative nurses and the entire surgical team. AORN members are innovative and collaborative. We have the resources and knowledge that enables us to be effective in our work with surgeons, anesthesiologists, and all members of the perioperative team. Our knowledge, experience, and our passion can define the difference between right and wrong, or most importantly, life and death. AORN, for me, represents the courageous pursuit of excellence. More than 60 years ago, AORN began a quest to build a community of perioperative professionals. Today, we have over 44,000 members, and every year we touch the lives of millions of surgical patients in thousands and thousands of hospitals and surgery centers across the nation as well as the world. I'm proud to be a member of AORN because I have access to the most up-to-date recommendations and guidelines. The association's collaborations with industry professionals, regulatory organizations, and our healthcare partners 
give our profession a trusted voice in surgical patient safety. From the front lines in the OR to the front lines on the battlefield, AORN continues to deliver on its promise to improve patient outcomes by increasing the number of surgical teams using AORN recommended practices. Every perioperative nurse should be a part of the one specialty organization that supports everything that we stand for in perioperative nursing. Evidence-based standards and recommended practices for every patient, every time, in every OR. Our membership represents the past, the present, and the future of our profession. And as the president of AORN, I, Rosie Schrader, declare the AORN Surgical Conference and Expo 2014 now in session. <laughs>